Hey there, Boots Owen here. I've just done a few videos on this Eland MiG 200 welder, a couple of upgrades and whatnot, and getting it working again. But that reminded me that I also have this welder. This is a Powercraft 160 amp welder. Powercraft 3078 Omega Wolf Limited. I got this in Little Aldi many years ago, and it's a great little welder. I've had it for a long time, and I'm really very happy with it. It didn't come with a plug, so I stuck a plug like this on it. It doesn't really work on a 13 amp plug. It blew out a few fuses and it's not worth the hassle. Get a big plug and a big, big socket for it. The clamp that's on it has burnt through, but it still works just fine. The little cable has burnt through. It has a tendency to overheat if you're using big sticks, but I use the sticks I have. In this case, what are they, 60, 60 13s, three and a half, maybe three mil. But the issue that I've really got with it is that the release for the sticks no longer works and what I've been tending to do is rolling the stick end this way and then putting a new one in and pulling this out so this electrode holder is completely dead if I could get this even out of it and I'm going to replace it with a screw up type today so this one's a 400 amp it's more than adequate it weighs as much as the welder practically presume in here somewhere there will be a connector that I can get access to. I can see the connector in the end there but I can't get to it without popping it out. That actually looks like Bakelite. You don't see many plastics that have that mottled effect like real old Bakelite. It's uh, I think what I would describe as phenolic, the same kind of stuff they use on electrical switches. I'll put a screwdriver in there. That's done it massive sensible brass connector there and on this one if I pull the old handle down it's a tiny little wire shouldn't take much to sort this out it looks like zinc and it could be zinc it could be aluminium with a little connector on there I'm just going to put that straight in it came with an allen key so that's the one I'll use I'll open these up a bit it also came with this little shim so put that there, put the shim in, this will be more than adequate. Can you see my mistake? The old handle can come off. So this upgrade is so long overdue. I've been faffing around like this with it for maybe three years with that thing broken, maybe even four. It's something that doesn't really get in the way because I don't do arc welding very often. Tends to be when I've got a piece of plate I need to sort out. I don't use it for anything fine at all. I've got a gas welder for that. Let's tighten those right up. Once I tighten one, the other one becomes loose, so keep going. This should slide up through the body here. Into position, and the top should just Screw up, and let's see if it takes a rod. And it does, and that's spot on. Perfect. That's a great upgrade. Long overdue, and they only cost five or ten quid. I don't remember. It wasn't much. Can I do anything with this old one? You see the plastic. Oh, it's not even the plastic. It's the aluminium that had broke on it. If it is aluminium or zinc. So that's no good. Will this come apart? It surely should. It just just slides off. So it's just a little lever that should rise up this plate, but it doesn't for whatever reason. I think it's just all cracked in there. So that should have had a better connection, but it had broken over time. This Powercraft welder also came with this little visor, little handheld visor. And over time, <laughs> over time, the, uh, the glass is completely covered in spatter. So I'm going to upgrade that. This should be quite easy. Just slide that out. It's just glass in this case. And I've got a replacement glass, which costs about a pound. Shade 10 for arc welding. And this one, I have a little piece of plastic that goes in front of it. And that together, hopefully it'll fit. That should protect it. And that, that's a big upgrade. So a few very simple jobs there, and I'm expecting years more of service out of this machine. 
questions or comments leave them below thanks for watching see you later